up, chefs? <laughs> cooking it, cooking it up. <laughs> What's up, chef? Cooking it up, chef. How's everybody been since the last time we've seen y'all? Good, I hope. How are you going to tell us? Yeah, right. How are you going to tell us? I did the door of the explorer thing. Good, good. How are they going to tell us? You know? <laughs> That's yeah. what Dora does all the time. Dora is for kids. Oh, these niggas is kids. They still okay, like kids. the way they be running around as like clowns. That's what I'm saying. Okay. All right. Uh, but thank you for coming back to our channel for episode three, Trey. Uh, we appreciate <laughs> I'm so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just mad that she said Trey. Uno dos tres. Uno dos. Tres. Trey also is three. In what language? Greek. Bitch, no. Do you know? Oh, well, I can find out. Alicia, 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 Alicia's Greek, so we can find out. How do you dispute something you don't know the answer Because to. I'm sure Trey is not Greek. Uno, dos, dos. That's Spanish. Yeah, That's I know. I'm Greek. There's other languages. It's not Greek. It's not Greek. What's the first topic? I was reading an article about Tiana Taylor and Iman, and basically he was telling like in the article that he shared his sexual partners with Tiana Taylor basically because he doesn't want her feeling embarrassed out here in these streets like her talking to people that he didn't mess with and my whole thing is are you guys okay with your man sharing his sexual partners with you guys I don't think I would ever ask but I think it would be a appreciated if he did like especially when you're a public figure like that like don't have me like in the club and it's three chicks that you didn't mess with and I'm just over here like da -de -da -de -da -de -da. don't have me looking stupid like they know something about you that I don't know yeah it's, I think it's a little bit different if you're like a public figure um I don't know like I don't know I don't want to know I don't want to know <laughs> like I don't want to know well here comes me I wants to know <laughs> okay because you know by the time you kiki can with this girl you didn't you know she did some things to you I feel like okay if the woman's in my face let me know I have a history with this woman but not one night sit me down and give me the whole list of all I the women I messed around I with I feel like list. I need to know the list because the public figure or not that's like my man coming to me like you know say for instance me and you were not friends December and but we I see you on social media I need to know if you hit this because if she ever like you just don't want any unexpected So you can things. have some hatred towards a woman No it's not even house. hatred but it's like I don't want no woman ever having any one ups on me that's one thing don't ever you would never have one ups on me How, wh Why would she have that on you? Because it's like say for instance I might that's just some women Yeah think. you know some women are kind of like, catty oh, you know, So she, she don't know that I She might you know. be catty so it's like what if one day she wants to make a post like you don't even know I slept with your man It's like well, we already know we're right, like about that's, that that's what I mean. Thing. That's what I mean. I don't ever want like yeah. some woman to like come up to me with some information about my man that I didn't know. Like I don't want to be sitting with a stupid. Like I gotta be. You like, want to be able to defend it. it. Yeah. If it's you something know. worth defending, you know, something. Well, but I don't need a list. It's just if you know that this is somebody that I might possibly interact with. Thank you. Know. If it's okay, like yes. the girl from yes. yeah, if it's the yes. girl from Burger King, the drive through, you know, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't care about the Burger King. She working at Burger King. Her thing wasn't that good. We go to Burger King a lot, actually. I don't. <laughs> I don't even live by Burger King, so you know, you don't go to Wiener Schnitzel. So maybe the Wiener. I would worker. never go to Wiener Schnitzel. So it's the Wiener Schnitzel worker never. for you. No, it's not. No, it's not. Wiener Schnitzel is trucker food. Once again, it's disgusting. <laughs> if your man had sex with the woman who worked at Wiener Schnitz, you wouldn't feel like his value would go down a little bit? First of all, because you cannot judge somebody based on their occupation. <laughs> that is wrong. So you don't feel like your his value would go down? If you if you look at your man like, mm, he is snack, he is star. I think you're basing and your he, values on the wrong thing. I'm so sorry, but if my man has a way, I don't, I don't care just where to you work. work. <laughs> just, I would kind of look at my like, man and we interacted, I already know what happened because he should have told me. Well, when she gets a man, because you know she ain't going. <laughs> I'm about to hit up one of yours. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't have some of them girls. They work out for me. First of all, I'm so thirsty. <laughs> I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. I'll get you another one. Friends. <laughs> How, How many, many of us have them? I'm not your friend. We here for this. I'm not your and friend. And this is what my people don't like. 
Cause you see how she be coming at us? Right. You see how she be coming at us? All right, y'all. So I know y'all seen all the memes going around talking about what we about to be doing for the summer, how we about to be hoeing, thotting, bopping, doing all of that mess. Okay. <laughs> The memes going around talking about the man hitting up the woman talking about where you been at and she all like I've been in the studio with my girls and then we was shooting dice after. Don't worry about where I've been at. I'm doing me all summer 18. Now, I got a question for y'all. Does summer actually affect your relationship status? Does it affect your mood and how you gonna treat the opposite sex or the person that you choose to be with, your partner? Cause I feel like, no. Cause I'm ready to settle down for the summer. <laughs> you want to settle down this summer? I'm ready. I'm ready. Mm. You know what? I would be lying if I said because last year, last year I was last summer I was in a relationship, and girl, when I told you, I missed the whole BET week and booed up with him. Kalisha was like, "Where's the turn up?" I was like, "Girl, I sorry, I'm going my boo to a concert, but this summer ain't no boo." Yes, it affects this summer. <laughs> so, so come here. BET weekend is really a big thing in LA for Black people. Well, yeah, but to me. Any big weekend, BT weekend, Grammy weekend, and, and, and all the, oh, thank you, Espies. All these weekends are fun, turn up weekends. It doesn't like really, that. Now that doesn't like you know mess up the relationship or whatever. That's not based on the relationship. But I will say this summer, oh no 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 no, Mama out and about. My my summer mood, I'm good, love, enjoy. You want to be out all day? That's fine. You got to hit him with a future quote. Girl, a super future with it, okay? <laughs> super future with it, okay? <laughs> Just like I'm about to have a super twerk. I'm already practicing. You do convince me to change my life. Maybe, maybe, may, no, no. I would like to have a summer flame. That's what uh, I want. So a I think it's cool. Somebody just to, you know, get it on with, and then you get up, and you get in the shower, and you get ready for the club that night. I think I just want to have fun this What summer. is wrong with you? What do you mean? <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think I'm more of what Ebony said. I just want to have fun this summer. You know, I haven't been on the dating scene in a long time. So maybe, maybe I'll just have fun, see who's out there. I mean, don't dice. get me wrong. I would love <laughs> to be <laughs> in an alley with y'all shooting dice. I would love to do this. <laughs> in an alley? I'm thinking more of like a mansion. Shooting dice. I want an in-home studio. <laughs> yeah, no, they <laughs> have those. Like, she acted like this is foreign. The the woman who did make the our beats for this uh, video and stuff, she, I do be in the studio hanging out with her a lot. And I do be having men looking for me like, where you at? I be like, I'm in the studio with my bitches. Okay? Mm, okay? Okay. So that's already your mood. Yeah, like... That's why you're trying to switch it, it up. It has right? been my mood already. <laughs> yeah, but I will say this, though. If I do have, like, a summer fling or, like, a summer boo, um, he can't be out in these streets like I'm out in these streets. He needs to be at home or like minding his business. Like that's the kind like, of man I want. Yeah, he can, stays home. Thank you. He can I be like like some men he, right now. He can be like doing his thing like at the beach. I want to be out having. He got to have less than five hundred followers on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? His friends can only be limited to max two, the ones he grew up with. Your little loser friends. He's gonna be some little engineer working all hours. He ain't gonna be at the club BET weekend. He don't know about BET weekend, okay? He gonna be like, what's BET? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, no, that's a BET. That's, that's pushing it. That's pushing it. I want him to have his friends and you know know a little bit about something. Like I can't be like, babe, let's go to Masters, and he's like, what's that? Like, no, no, no. He needs to know what that is. Well, of course, because my man's gonna have culture in class, okay? BT weekend in class. It, it's really not. Yeah, it, no. Coming for BT. I'm so. I'm not coming for BT. I'm so sorry. <laughs> BT weekend is really not class because it's nothing but pure ratchery going on. Yeah. But um, I haven't really experienced I, it. I'm turning up. I will be attending. I do know people are coming out here, so we will, like my mood. I look First for of one all, party for BT I'm gonna be there too. Okay. I'm just trying to have fun all summer. I don't really care, you know, whether I'm shooting dice with the homies or what. Um, I'm just trying to be at a day party. That's all I care about, day parties. See, I'm trying to have a nice fling where we like, you know, that honeymoon stage when you meet somebody and everything is still exciting. No, you still in the streets. I want to do all the I mean, if it happens, it's fine. <laughs> Either way, if I, you know, if I find somebody and we, we, you know, connect, cool. If I have a little fun, cool. As long as I go to some dates. Well, my mood this is both included in the honeymoon stage. Y'all having yes. fun. Y'all turning Wait, up. Wait, you were talking about going to day party with him? Yeah. Well, unless he's buying bottles and stuff. And, no. What? 
bottles. I'm going with my man to a day party for us to stand around at the bar. No, if he's not buying bottles. Well, I'm talking about like the honeymoon stage, like you getting to know somebody. It's like a summertime fling. It's not your man. This is just like a fling. But yeah, you're getting him prepared. Listen, my mood is both y'all. I would like the summertime fling because I'm prepping him for winter time when it's yeah. Christmas yeah. and gifts yeah. and things That's like true. that. My birthday's at the end of August. I would like to yeah. have, you know, somebody make it rain for my birthday, you know? Yeah. Um, but then I want to turn up. Don't call me talking about why you gotta go out so much. Cause you ain't my mama and you ain't my man. You know? Day party to up. I don't wanna go out at night. I don't, I don't, I do. <laughs> I, do I don't even, I, I feel like I'm not even alive until the sun goes down. Then I just get all this energy. What's Drake saying? I, I come alive in the nighttime? That's me. I be tired when I go out at night. Yeah, no, no. She falls asleep. <laughs> I be tired. So, Listen, she be wanting to be out till 4 in the morning. She want to be out till 7. I don't have time. You know, this is how we live. Yeah, it's like, I'm that's sorry. a good night. Day, and I live thank for, you. That's yes. like one of the most turned up nights. I live for parties, cookouts, and being in bed by 10. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't do cookouts because I don't eat anybody's cooking. You know the crazy thing is that like we both love to stay out all night, but like we don't like the same crowds. At oh, all. at all. So we can't be out together. At all. <laughs> <Opening> <laughs> same <crowds>. places. At <laughs> all. <laughs> at all. <laughs> I, I don't want to go to where she hanging out. She don't want to go where I'm hanging out. But Deja she comes like, to yeah, both of our she places. Like, yeah, she likes the losers. I like them all. First of all, I'm going to places like EPLP. Uh, 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 Hold on, I got a whole bar list on my phone. <laughs> yeah, a bar. I'm not a bar type of That's the yeah, thing. She refuses to go to bars. She's a club person. Yeah, I'm not a bar. I like bars. I like going to Santa Monica to the bars. I like going to uh, West LA, Culver City, Hollywood. I like lounges. So I think that's a nice little mix. Villa Lounge is nice on Melrose. Yeah, I wouldn't mind going to a, a lounge. I think we could all go to Villa Lounge. Yeah, it's small. Like, I like has good music like that, club, that she likes table that she likes and bottle service like you like but does it have that other thing i okay. like hmm? does it have that other thing i like black men mm -hmm. money. <laughs> with money, with money. <laughs> so i was on social media and i think it was shade room they posted something that said name one good thing about your ex. So I wanna ask y'all, can you name one good quality your ex had without throwing any shade? We put in the comments you know, the shade room so they shade. Something actually good about your ex. I have something good. Um well <laughs> he was a good provider. Anything I ever asked for, he made sure I had it. Bro, <laughs> are you serious? <laughs> He was a hard, he was a hard worker. He was very generous. <clears throat> How about that? That's a good, he was generous. Like, he was very generous. I don't actually have any issues with my ex. Me and my ex are really good friends. <laughs> and so, uh, we still talk. We're still really good friends. So. You guys still talk, but do you guys still? Hook up? No. Mm -hmm. You no, never no. just want to slide through like no. when you're low on the booze? No. <laughs> that is my friend <laughs> that we are friends we broke up when we were 18 that was my last boyfriend when I was 18 years old so wow. that's just my friend we've grown apart but we're still like we still have similar personalities you know and um, we still work on the same things like we still do film media you know we work in that realm so whenever I need some kind of graphics or whatever he's down to help me out and I like look over his stuff I double check it for him like we really still stay in contact that's beautiful God no, bless you guys it's very mature. <laughs> um one good thing about my ex was that he was good he wasn't he didn't spend as much money as me and I was just telling Ebony, I need my future husband because I like I like to spend money. Like I I get I don't know what it is. I get a high off of a simple trip to Target. Like I can't go one day without spending money. So I need a guy who can check that quality about me and be like, you don't need that. So he was good about doing things like that. He also let me get my way a lot. Who was that? The dad from Everybody Hates Chris. <laughs> Checking you for your money. Oh, I was like, he was the dad from Everybody Hates Chris. He wasn't that bad, you know. It it was just like he didn't see the need to always have to buy things like me. I feel like that's gonna that's 
uh, that's, a, that's a lot of men in the world because I know a lot of women that have to hide what they went out and I'm shot I'm not hiding for. anything. I never I'll tell you. do that. I would be annoyed. If anything, he would just buy it for me. <laughs> yeah. Who have I been dating? Well, yeah, I don't have the mission. I need, I need gifts. He I would just gifts. buy them for me. I, if anything, I had to check him on his spending habits because he was just like always spending or like always sending like you know family money and things like that and i would kind of tell them like you know like dang but yeah i wish i never had to like hide you that wear gucci belts and hermes belts and big old h right here huh the gucci shirts and stuff cut a hole like, in their shirt so everybody could see that's your he's not cutting a hole in his shirt but he is wearing but he is wearing a Gucci shirt. See, I would yeah, flip it. Be wearing a I don't like any man who wears name brand anything. Like, like big logo type name brand shit. So if I came here with a Gucci shirt, like, how would you feel? Would you judge me? I'm talking about men. I was um, not talking about you but at all. But if I did. How did they come back to you? Well, I don't know, because I feel I was really going to say something, but then I was like, I thought about it, like, mm. Well, the thing is, like, I don't do that myself, so, like, I'm just not attracted to men that, like, wear the chains and the big old burger shirts. Also, because and you're not a name brand, do you don't want your name, man name brand. Well, he's my man, so we're obviously our interests need to align somehow. Like, I don't give a shit about name brand anything. I give a fuck about a lot of name brands, okay? I think it depends on how it's done. Because I think some guys, it'd be, be these hood guys out here, I get a little money, they just be out here looking a little tacky when they, when they go shopping. Is, that's what I'm saying, they you gotta know, they just, show, they'll walk in logo. It can't, it can't be off. like the Gucci shirt, the Gucci belt. The yeah, that's what I'm tag, saying, that the shit Gucci looks shoes. terrible. Yeah, that oh, when a man tacky. is actually well dressed. Thank you, but yes. he has his name brands on, because my ex, I will say that his style was very good. Now, I, that is one thing I like to I mean, he dressed very nice. Even like on his bummy days, I would still be like, it looks so cute, but. I mean, I dated a dude, you know, he, of course, he was wearing, like, suits and ties and shit like that. And, of course, they're, like, name brand. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, of course. That's fine. But, like, you go into the club and you are walking fucking logo. Yeah, you can't be Gucci that's down. disgusting to Maybe, me. like, a Gucci shirt. Maybe some, you know, jeans and, like, some... Crocs? Uh, no, that Crocs. That was... I'm <laughs> not a name... Like, I like women. I was trying because I'm really trying to think what would go with the Gucci shirt. Like I don't really think that Balenciaga would go with the Gucci shirt. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Just don't be Gucci down. How about that? Gucci down, Louis down, none of that down. Fifty down. Don't be down. I have a follow up question. So we all yeah. named one thing that we liked about our exes. What do you think they would say was one good quality about you? <laughs> when they thought he was dying to tell me you're going to die he's going to kill you you're going to die that's why i was like get the fuck off my phone i called nature i called nature and she three-wayed me yeah and i and i and i and i, and I, and I want you to feel left out the funny part about it deja gave me a prep talk like december's december's gonna apologize she, she knows she's not gonna die are you serious she gave me a pep I talk did. because i was like deja don't put me on the phone with december december was concerned as hell about you but girl because december cares see my good quality that I'm very compassionate and I'm understanding about people and their different personalities and their different situations. So I knew in this situation that everything that was how to December, talk to that everything. December gives a shit about you. <laughs> that everything that I was talking to you. Obviously, these other people in the world don't give a damn. I knew December cared, but I knew how to talk to Ebony about it. And, and I showed her that I care by just being Inspector Gadget. I was like, okay, well, let me find out some information. Thank you. About where, where you Thank go, you. And you she know. kept me informed. She kept me calm. This one almost First had, of all, she had was translated. <laughs> this one had my blood pressure up a thousand. I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Whatever. But that wasn't the good quality. That all was she did say. was translate what I was saying to you. Well, she, she, she said it calmly. I was calm as hell, but I was freaked out because you was about to die. But she didn't die. Clearly, I'm here. Because good. you left. <laughs> but that wasn't the good quality that I was going to say. Leave me the hell alone, <laughs> December, okay? The good quality <laughs> that I was going to say was that um, 
I think one thing that he would say was that I kind of I have my priorities I guess together, and we valued a lot of the same things. So I think what I think you he smiling like that. For? I think he just <laughs> felt like I have a good head on my shoulders. I guess that's what I would say. Your ex would probably say you're pretty. Is that all I have to offer to you? First of all, like, nigga, you been sitting here thinking about it. You ain't thought about nothing yet. I, I, you know what? What is it then? He could probably say, well, I don't know. We argued a lot. Um, I think the fact that he liked, what did he like about me? Mm, he probably liked the fact that I was smart. I could help him out with a lot of shit. Um... <laughs> You know what? He did tell me. He did tell me that I would always like keep him motivated and always like support him and be sweet and let him know that he can do it and blah 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 blah. You were his cheerleader. Well, of course, that was my man. <laughs> Ain't it chilly to know? Um, and he was giving you money, so of course well, he was cheering. I'm it would be working. like <laughs> keep working, babe. <laughs> keep working. Give but, me some money. but it wasn't like okay. Let's be real. When you're with your man all times are always good like even with money like Deja knows like you know I've talked to her about some stuff things are not always good so even when it's like damn you know like I just I just lost fifty thousand dollars it's like okay it's like sorry, wait <laughs> who are you dating to, who just, he, what? Just for example, like just for example. That's your example. Not like, fifty dollars, but fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> like you know, I he, guy told me he lost five thousand dollars. He lost some money, and it's like, okay, well, babe, like you know, like that's not a little bit of money. Like you have to realize when your expenses are maybe like a hundred thousand dollars a month or something like that, and then you go, you lose like a big chunk of that. Okay, I'm sorry. He can be stressed. This is unreal. He can be stressed. <laughs> so you have to. This you know, nigga dating Bill Gates. Who the fuck? Bill Gates. Bill Gates. Bill Gates got way more money than that. <laughs> I'm saying, but fifty thousand dollars is gonna be like pay his maid fifty thousand dollars. Yeah, a week. thank you. <laughs> fifty thousand dollars is probably like his wife's wig bill. <laughs> Can you imagine the amount of wigs you could buy if you were a girl? Girl, I'm I would have like a whole closet. I'd that. have a wig lady, just a lady who stands in the closet all day. You know I would the hire people have Arnold. Like, what? No, I would hire Eric and Tay. I would hire Alonzo Arnold. I would Kutz. hire um Anthony Cuts. Anthony Cuts. <laughs> really? <laughs> He's so damn good. To be with you, I He's never good. really see much about him. He's good, but I feel like he he was one of the first to kind of like blow up, blow up. Mm -hmm. But I've seen so many people who are as good or better than him. Not Eric and Tay, did you say him already? No, I said him. She yeah, he's good. I, yeah, I just love yeah, Alonzo. I mean, and I think for a while. me and Alonzo would just laugh the whole time. Do y'all follow him? No, well, I don't follow hilarious. him, but I've been seeing him. He is hilarious, but he might be a little too extra for me. I don't got time for all that. We ain't, we ain't playing. We only got to see him in the morning time. Okay, so if you guys haven't noticed, we have this little link in our description box for you guys to leave us anonymous questions. Um... So, we actually got a question. And someone was wondering where, they were new to LA and they were wondering where they could go to network with other black women in their field. They want to be in the um, TV industry. And uh, I work in the TV industry. These two ladies work in the radio industry. So, we got a little knowledge on that. So, what Did you submit this question? Is, are you wondering this? Oh no, I know, I got my network down. <laughs> I got my network down. Oh, she let me in her life then just blew up, you know what I'm saying? Skirt. <laughs> That's a little under under shade I've been telling you about that. No, she tried to throw shade at me. She be acting like she's uh, my only damn friend. <laughs> So what advice would y'all give to someone who's new to LA who is specifically looking to network with other black people, specifically black women, um, in their field or not in their field, if you just need some friends? So I know one thing that we did in college, like when we would see each other on campus, uh, we told this to each other in BSU meetings, like when you see another black person, black woman specifically on campus, don't like do the regular mean mug or whatever that you do when you see another woman, you know what I'm saying? I feel like 
especially black women we definitely really do that it's kind of like this alpha mentality or whatever it's like i'm not about to be smiling all up in your face or whatever like it's just kind of just how i was raised and apparently that's how a lot of other women that i talked to in the meeting did as well like before i would never really smile in another woman's face walking next like if i'm walking on the street and we're crossing paths like i'm not gonna be like if i don't know you you know what i'm saying but like with black women we told each other that like definitely just start smiling at each other and everywhere that i've gone the past few years definitely like the past four years i see a lot more black people being friendly with each other instead of you know just bypassing each other like we don't know each other still don't get me wrong i'm a bi sure yeah i mean i'm gonna bypass somebody if i don't really know you but if i see that you're a black person hello how you doing <laughs> cool. the only if they're black <laughs> I don't think. I mean, I'm a. I, I notice a black person before I notice anybody else. Okay. Yeah. They stand out. Yeah. So like anybody else, my my black don't. Cry. I'm not tuned into like looking at you. Right. You know right, what I'm right. saying? So I'll be walking past people that I know, and especially if I ain't got my glasses on, I'm gonna fucking look up in your face. <laughs> now if it's a black person, I'm saying hello regardless, just because like I think that we need to build our community up and be, nice. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying, nicer in general. Anyways. Right. I mean, do y'all agree? Do, do we used well, to say the same thing when I was in school. I don't think I was ever one of those people who intentionally mugged anyone. I think not I just, intentionally mugging. Just it's just, like, a, it's just like, like my resting, resting bitch. yeah, like yeah. my resting face. Um, but I think I've always been pretty good at smiling to other people, um, especially once I got to college because our black community in college was very close knit. Um, everybody kind of knew everybody or even if you didn't know them you recognized them so everybody just kind of hey girl and you know kept it pushing I think out here I mean I don't go out of my way to smile at every black person I see but um, I am friendly you know and if I do make eye contact with you I will smile at you but I'm not gonna go out of my way to do it I mean that's definitely started helping like with my networking or whatever like mm -hmm. especially just wherever I go like I make sure to just smile at people and you know it just stirs up conversations a lot of times like I've had like a lot of just random conversations like hey girl hey and then you just start talking <laughs> you know and then now you gotta connect somewhere you know well I'm just I, I do smile at people. I've never really had that issue with the resting. Well, I do have a resting, but most of the time when I see somebody walking past or whatever, I, you do. I really, I really smile. do. Oh yeah, yeah. I don't have the, you see, I don't have the resting. Like I'll smile really. That's because you're exerting all your energy. Why, to be a black person? Another day. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna uh, cancel all the negativity <laughs> and bring in the positivity. So I don't really have that issue, but I think really for me, like what makes it because I'm very shy. So I think what makes it easier for me when it comes to networking is my personality. Because I'll be saying something and the person will kiki 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 and they come over here and next thing you know, they work for this place, I work for this place and kiki kiki. Or like the internet. The internet brings us close together. Instagram. Mm -hmm. you, yeah. might, you might follow a girl because she's pretty not knowing that this girl works for iHeartMedia. And you want to network with her and get a job there or whatever and next thing you know you guys become friends. I, I definitely I use social media to my advantage when it comes yeah. to networking um I often look and see who people I know are following and interacting with and if you know if you come across somebody's profile and it says this person this person this person are all following them and you know those three people all work in one specific industry mm -hmm. then I kind of just guess that the, that person may also work in that industry and I might follow them same thing goes for um on LinkedIn especially mm -hmm. um, looking at seeing if you have a mutual connection with someone and they work at this great company psh, connect hey girl how you doing um, and then in sure. addition and especially if you live in LA a black person in LA we have black book LA Heck and yeah. you go to blackbookla.com and then they have it really <laughs> no. girl that's to, the summertime that's the, yes email you better be on black book yes, la for the summertime every week every week they can send oh, you a little man. newsletter you go there and it's got a list of all the events going Everything on happening. for the black, all the black folk thing happening. really this is um, the networking queen right here okay listen Asia you has go a planner to she's a networking queen <laughs> I, I've gone to these events. Um, I've gone. I've gotten invited to events through coworkers. I've met so many. Uh, I've gone to so many networking events since I moved. I've only been out here for a year, but I think I've built up a pretty strong network of people. I was just at some networking events. I went to three this past week. Yeah, I. Um, 
I just blanked on what I was about to say. <laughs> I completely blanked. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Black Book LA. They don't just um, they don't just tell you the events, but they also um, they have Facebook groups. Uh, so one of their Facebook groups is if you just moved to LA and you're looking for a roommate, they have Black Book LA Housing Network. They got one that just promotes Black businesses. So definitely look into that if that's what you're trying to do. And you just moved out to her, to LA and see if you're in a different city and um, just see if they have something like that. And if not, you create it. See my. Um I think the internet is great because like you can follow one black person and they start tagging the other people and posting something about them, reposting some stuff and then what do you know, you over here supporting black businesses, supporting black people. I just bought two fanny packs from a black girl because my friend posted about it on her Instagram story and I was like, I love fanny packs. And then my, uh, my tarot reader, my psychic, whatever you want to call her. Is she black? She's black. I'm trying to support more <laughs> black people. I want a black gynecologist. Where do I find that? I'm looking for okay. black bitches. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I want some more black No, my friend, he, you know, how we talk about all the mental health issues in the black community and stuff like that. He refused to go to a doctor, like a psychologist or a, uh, whatever they call it, if the person wasn't black. I mean, honestly, like, I really feel some type of way if I'm telling all my secrets and stuff like that to somebody who is Don't not black. It. Because I feel like we got our own issues in the community. And, and we handle them differently. Somebody, exactly. And somebody's just not going to get it. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I would prefer, I just feel more comfortable when I'm around people that look like me because I don't see them that often that's who I was grown up and raised around that's who I come home to every day I just feel more comfortable so when I'm thrown into an area that there's people who are judging me on my hair color changing or like why my hoop's so big and all this stuff I'm like this is me <laughs> like right. you know what I'm saying like somebody in the black community ain't gonna question me well or, okay stuff like that or how I act why I talk a little bit louder or why I have inflections in my voice you if know? you're looking for a black therapist another good source is uh therapy for black girls it's a podcast but they also have a facebook group called therapy for black girls and um a lot of women in there just share advice with one another but there are some licensed therapists in that group and my best friend's actually in that group my best friend is now a licensed therapist shout outs to her she's my personal therapist i don't okay. have to pay for it but um this is why she's going to tell us her problems yes yeah, so does, does that mean that we get the <laughs> free 99 discount no problem so I think that's all. We got to get out of here. People got to go to work. Um, <laughs> hey, <sorry>. But <laughs> thank you so much for tuning in. And um, follow us on Instagram if you're not already. It'll be right here. Right here. <laughs> and um, yeah, and for our personal Instagrams, in the description box below. And like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends. And if you have any questions that you want advice about, you know, and you're not Deja pretending to give us questions. Y'all keep saying down here, like, it was about the link in the bio. Is that too hard to say? Bio's down here. Oh, that's Instagram. <laughs> All right. <laughs> she said link in bio. <laughs> link in bio. All right, gotta get it. It's hot. Oh, it's hot. Thank you. Yeah.